you're gonna give your view a name. So we're gonna call this one, say, kitchen for our scenario. But this could be like stage one or area two, uh, depending on what your site or area or location is named. Um, we don't have a category for it set and we're gonna just click still. So this is gonna be a single location. Now I've clicked define boundary. I wanna define where I want this view to be. And this is basically just gonna allow you to quickly jump from one area to another. So I've selected my view, I'm gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna hit okay. So now you can see on the top here, I've got kitchen. It's just gonna automatically take me to the kitchen room. Now I'm, I can create another new view here. I can call this one uh, dining room. Now you can see where this would be useful with many large projects. Uh, anywhere where you have to remember different locations and areas or have specific zoom ins or viewports for different sites within your project. So I've got two created now. We created the kitchen and the dining room option. Again, if you wanted to use these more often, you simply go to the view tab, click on the one that you're interested in, and it's going to just go to that set zoomed area. You could also select objects from this or just go to the area and use current view when you're setting this up. Now, where this is coming in handy with viewports, we're gonna go to this example 4.1 here. And so on the left, I've got a viewport that simply shows all of my kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, the entire floor plan. On the right, I'd like to create a quick view of one of my named views. So what I can do here is go to the layout tab again and click insert view. 